welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here my name is Becky and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger and I post here on YouTube twice a week and I post every single day over on Instagram so I would love to see you over there too. So today's video I thought that I would do something a little bit different although I'm just noticing my camera is super wonky so let's fix that first. Okay so today's video is going to be something a little bit different I went through all my clothes this week. You guys know that we're getting ready to move, so I've been getting rid of stuff that I don't need and sorting through all my stuff. So whilst I was doing that, I took out all of my spring clothes that I had packed away in storage last year. Every kind of like, at the end of spring and winter and stuff, I like to put some of my clothes in vacuum bags and pack them away so I have more space in my wardrobe. So you know, like at the end of winter, I'll put away all my big coats, um, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. And at the, you know, the end of the summer, I'll put away all my like little dresses and stuff like that. So I thought that what I would do today is show you a little kind of haul of all my spring clothes that I have taken out of storage. I'm so excited. There are some clothes here that I just love so much. And I haven't worn them in like a year. So I'm so, so, so excited to show you guys them. Um, I'm going to link everything below if it's still in stock and still sold on those websites and if not I will link something similar to everything down below but obviously all of these things are like at least a year old so probably you're not gonna be able to get the exact ones anymore but I thought it would be a really nice way to do like a big haul without buying anything new also how annoying is it like it's annoying me so it must be annoying you that I've decided to wear a fleecy tracksuit to film this video in. It doesn't make sense, but I didn't want to get changed and like dirty another set of clothes when this is what I was already wearing. It's kind of like warm in the day here right now, but not really hot and it's kind of cold at night still. It's a bit of a really like weird situation weather-wise, but I think like in the next few weeks we're gonna be able to start wearing more spring clothes and stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm just gonna go ahead and start showing you my stuff then. So when I take my stuff out of storage, I like to just put it in the washing machine on like a quick wash. Like I don't do a full like cycle with them, but I put it on the, like it's like daily, daily rinse or something like that. And it's like a 20 minute wash just to freshen them up. Cause I feel like when they've been in the vacuum bag for a year, they get a bit musty. So they're all mostly, I think, inside out still from the wash. So the first thing is this black uh, jumpsuit. This is from Pretty Little Thing. And I remember I got this one earlier this year, actually, in, no, last year. Oh my God, has it been that long? Yeah, I got it in like February last year. And I remember that because I got this to take to Disney World with me and I wore this in Disney World. I'm gonna insert a picture over here. And I loved it so much. It has these like wide legs and it goes I think like three quarters of the way down your leg. So it's really, really flattering. And then it has this bit on the waist where it goes really tight, which is very, very flattering. And then it buttons up at the top. I got this one in a size up because I really wanted to make sure those buttons covered my boobs really well and it fit really well and it really did. Love this one so much and I'm so excited to start wearing this again because it's light and airy and loose enough that you can wear it all day in the warm but also because it's trousers you don't find that you're like legs rubbing together. Then the next thing I'm going to show you is this little white dress. I got this from Shein and it was actually a little bit small on me when I put it away for storage and I think I've put on like 10 kilos since then. So I'm hoping that it will fit still. I've had this on my YouTube channel before actually. I talked about it in a haul when I first got this one um, and I still love it just as much. So it's got this like, I can never remember what it's called, Anglais broad Brodery, something like that uh, effect all over it. And it's got these ruffly sleeves and then it's got a nice little nip in at the waist and a ruffle kind of across the skirt, which is very, very cute. One thing that I don't like about wrap across dresses is that they always come apart around your crotch and you have to be really, really careful with it. But it looks really cute, so it's a pain. But this one has, like, it's a fake wrap over, so you get the prettiness of it and the cute little detail of it, but you don't have to worry about flashing your pants. It did have, like, a little white cotton belt that went around it, but I don't know whether I've missed it when I was packing things up or what, because I can't find it now, which is a bit 
annoying um but it doesn't need a belt and i can probably just buy like a ribbon instead i feel like like a white piece of ribbon would be really really pretty to put that around in place of it so i'm not too upset that i've lost it oh, and double lining which is wonderful because it means that it's not see-through at all. And I wore that to absolute death last summer. It was my one of my favourite things to wear in the summer. I would wear that with my Doc Martin sandals, which are downstairs, but I'm going to show you those too because they have come out this week as well. And that was like the, the outfit that I wore so, so much last year. So I was a bit worried with washing that one so much. And I do always put bleach in with my wipes when I wash them. Um, so with it being from Shein, I was slightly worried like whether that would mean that it would kind of fall apart in the wash, but it stood the test of time, it survived the washer, it survived the dryer, it survived the bleach, it hasn't shrunk. I've probably expanded, unfortunately, since then, but it didn't shrink at all, which is really, really very good, very good. This is like a white like linen shirt, and it has these like wooden buttons all the way down the middle i'm now seeing that it actually has two stains on it that i didn't realize there's one here and one here um no there's one over here as well i didn't realize that i've never seen those before i must have got something on it as i was packing it away that's such a bummer but i'll put some stain treatment on it tonight and i'm hopefully they will come out I love this shirt because it's like a linen-y one and it's really really light and airy so it's really nice to wear with like jeans and stuff in the summer. Um, I like to, like especially when I'm home, I'll spend a lot of time in like shorts, a bikini top and a shirt just like open over the top when I'm just chilling out around the house. So this is one of my favourite things to wear like that. Um, and since I mainly wear it around the house to be honest if the stains don't come out I will keep wearing it at home it's just a bit of a bummer because it means i can't really wear it out and then oh i love this top so much this is like a little peasant style blouse would you call that i don't know it's got like the puffy sleeves and it like like a peplum effect from the waist and then that all that like embroidered detailing at the front the light is so bad right now because the sun is setting so my camera is trying to adjust the lighting according to what I'm showing you so it's like flashing back and forward so much I'm really sorry um but yeah that's very it look it's so so cute I love this one so much to wear with like jeans and heels it's so nice for like a summer evening dinner kind of thing but then it's also cute enough that you can wear it in the daytime my only problem with this one is that the material is quite heavy so I do get quite warm wearing it but it's so pretty that I love it anyway I remember getting that one as well. I went away for the weekend last year in like April, May-ish. And I remember this arrived just in time and I wore it nearly the entire weekend because I loved it so much and it was brand new then. And then I have this dress. This is another one of my favorite things to wear around the house. I will wear this around the house with like no bra and stuff. And then um, when it's time to go out, I'll like put a bra on because it's very very airy <laughs> um so it's this like leopard print dress and it's in like a blue white black kind of pattern and it's really like low cut at the back and the sides so it's um it's like a slip kind of style but it's quite low so you get a lot of side boob going on and then it is cut up to like nearly your hip this used to go to the floor when i wore it but I put it in the dryer by accident. So now it goes to like my mid calves. So don't put Motel Rocks dresses in the dryer. But it's weird because it only shrunk like horizontally. It didn't shrink in any other way. It just got shorter. Um, which I found really, really confusing. But it still looks really cute and I still love wearing it. This is another one that I love wearing in my Doc Martens. You're about to see that since I bought my Doc Martens sandals, I basically live in them every summer and I wear those or vans if i'm going somewhere where i can't wear those so you're gonna hear a lot of i wear this with my dot mine sandals sorry about that next up is this is another dress that i got for disney i, I bought this one from zara um and i did a, a haul with this as well it's like a really like big floaty smock dress um, doesn't really have much shape to it at all. It just goes straight down and hangs. It looks like it should have like a bit of a peplum effect, but it doesn't really. It literally is like up and down. And this is another one 
that I just absolutely love living in because it's so big and floaty and airy and I just feel so so pretty in it. It does have a v-neck but it doesn't really like show off a lot of boob like it shows off enough that there's like a little hint but it also hides enough that they're not on display for the entire world. So that's a really really nice combination too. I loved this dress like Next up, we're nearly there now, it's not gonna be much longer, I promise, is a, another like smock style top. It's got a little v-neck and then it kind of goes out like a bit of a peplum style. And then you've got the sleeves with the little buttons at the end. It is a very much a like semi-formal top. Um, it's something that you could really wear to dinner or to wear a nice brunch, but it's probably a little bit too much to wear just like, if you're going for a walk in the park or something. It is a lot thinner than the white one that I showed you. Like it's a nicer material for the summer. It's just not like casual enough probably for everyday wear. It does also have this really cute little like ruffle that goes around the collar, which again, makes it a little bit more dressy. Um, but this is from NKD and I love NKD's clothes. They always last really, really well when you wash them and stuff. They're slightly on like the pricier side in terms of like compared to like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided and stuff. But they're not expensive. I feel like this shirt was like £25, which is quite reasonable. I can't remember because it was so, so long ago now. But they are a really nice brand and the clothes always last really, really well from there. Speaking of NAKG, I have my denim skirt, which I feel like is such a staple of the summer. And I've been very excited to get this baby back out. So it is just a very plain blue denim skirt with a raw hem. And yeah, I can't wait to put this one on. There's not really much to say about it. It's just a really nice fitting skirt and... I saved it from last year, I guess. Then I have black denim shorts. Obviously, I don't really wear anything like this in the sun, in the winter here because I live in Wales and it is darn cold here. I usually roll these up at the bottom though, so they're a bit more like that. I feel like they're a little bit too long. Like, they're not quite long enough to be long line shorts and be a thing, but they're not short enough to be short shots if that makes sense um i will show you them like rolled up and rolled down when i put them on and you'll probably get what i mean but yeah i prefer to fold them up a couple times and i just feel like it leaves them at a bit of a nicer length so these are my dot wine sandals they're like big chunky the big chunky ones that go around your ankle too they're not the vegan ones because i bought these like two years ago and i don't think that the vegan ones even existed yet then and if they did I wasn't veggie or anything then and I just thought like I would buy leather because I thought that meant it would automatically be better quality. Um, so even if they did ex exist then I would have bought the leather ones on purpose. Um, which sucks but I would make that different decisions now so I guess that's that. Um, they've lasted so well like the sole I've probably worn down a little bit and I've scuffed them a little bit at the front but I have worn them for like two solid summers. Um, so they've lasted really, really well, like no stitching coming apart or anything like that. Um, and I love them so much. They are super, super cute. Okay guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys liked that. I thought it was a really fun idea to just kind of show you some things that I already had in my wardrobe rather than ordering loads of things for another haul. Um, I hope this didn't seem too random, like just why are you doing that um i hope that you guys kind of got the concept behind it if you do want to see more of this kind of thing maybe i could do a bit of a like wardrobe tour show you some more things that i have in my wardrobe i'm about to pack away my winter stuff so i probably won't show you that but i don't feel like anybody's shopping for winter things at the moment so i don't really see like there would be a point in that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment down below and hopefully i will see you all next time bye